Yes. Are you a Muslim? Wa alaikum as -salam. How are you? Oh, fine. Are you a Muslim, my friend? Yes. All right. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, I saw your your question saying uh, why I accept the Bible to be confirmed, why right? It, why yeah. you consider it as a reliable source, yeah. Yeah, but did you see the answer in the Quran? The Quran says, I have in front of you a verse from the Quran, chapter 2, verse number 89 says, confirming what is with them. So your book confirm what is with us, what we will do now. That's two different things, so what do you mean? What? Okay, I said, ma hayim fa'atabaan. Why you it's not good? So, so why you are wasting my time, my friend, my friend? I'll, what was the ayah you gave uh, uh, me? What's your I'll name? What's your, your name? I'll go what's with your, your name? paradigm. What's your name, my friend? I'll go, sir. What's I'll your go name? With your paradigm. What's your name? What I will what, call you? What's the ayah? What I will what's call the you? The chapter 2, verse number I'm showing it to you on the screen. You can read it on the screen. I don't have my thing open like that. Okay. My, my YouTube. One second. وَلَمَّا جَاءَهُمْ كِتَابٌ مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا مَعَهُمْ Does it say مُصَدِّقٌ لِمَا مَعَهُمْ Yeah. Okay. Believing, is, believing in it, in what is with them. What was, what's مُصَدِّق? Mean believing. مُصَدِّق mean believing. Believe, يعني أولي, confirming. Believing mean believing. It's more than confirming because confirm is just agreeing. Here it's musaddiq. That's mean I believe in it. So musaddiq al mean he agreeing and believing in what so, is with them. Abu Bakr al Sadiq is called Abu Bakr al Sadiq because he believed in what Muhammad he brought to him, correct? Okay. So okay. He, so musaddiq is the is one is the one who believe. Musaddiq is the one who believe in what is with them. So now, the, even the Muslim translation, my friend, my friend, don't waste my time. First of all, your Arabic is not good. Secondly, it says here, even your translation says, confirming what is with them. Do you have a problem with that? And now, let me explain the confirming. The confirming oh. is that it confirms the hajat al the truthful part in their books. Uh, and, first yeah. of all, you are adding things. Does it, say, does it say in the verse, confirming only the truth? Some of the truth, some of it, he says, confirming what is with them. Are you saying to me that somebody took the verse, play with it, no, and he took those words off? To, first of all, first of all, we need to read the ayahs in context. Read the ayahs, no problem. Go read. Who's, when, who? you read the ayahs, when you read the ayahs in context, you start. Read the ayah in contact. No problem. Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> start when you start from 87. Read and from any, you can read it from verse number one. I don't care. No, I'll start from 87. It says, we gave Moses the scripture mm. and we sent messengers after him in succession. We gave Jesus, son of Mary, clear mm. signs and strengthened him with the Holy Spirit. Mm. So how is that whenever a messenger brings you something you do not like, you become arrogant, calling some imposters and killing others? Mm. They say our hearts are imp uh, impenetrably wrapped. But mm. God has rejected them for their disbelief. Mm. They have little faith. When a scripture came to them from God, confirming what they already had in Nazam, what they already had is what? The belief in one God, to follow the prophet. Well, that's, that's, that's your fabrication, my friend. You are adding things. It's not, no it's, not no it's not in the Quran. 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 It says, confirming in what is with them. There's no addition. Say, yeah. Yeah, say it. It doesn't have to say it here. We look at Quran, we look at the Okay, so the, you are saying that the verse in the Quran is not clear. We have to add words to fix it. So the Arabic of Allah is not good. That, that's not what I said. That's well, not what the, I said. I said so so why you are ayah. adding words? Why you are adding words to the Quran if the Quran doesn't say that? If the Quran is clear, is the Quran clear book? I'm not. I'm elaborating for you. No, I'm asking you, is the Quran, is the Quran by itself is enough for anyone to understand? 
with the Arabic language, yeah, it should be good. Okay, the Arabic language, yeah. turned out for me, I speak Arabic better than you. Obviously, you don't speak with Arabic. It says here, مصدق, believing in what is with them. Let us go to different ver different verse. Here we go. You see this one? This one is not going to be just to show you. But now, as long as you claim you speak Arabic, you know, you cannot, you cannot turn away from it. Chapter 2, verse number 91. What we will do with this one? Hmm. Same thing. No, it's adding here. It's even. It's even adding the word the truth. Even if it be the truth, even it be the truth, confirming, confirming what is with them, confirming what is with them, not some of what is with them. So the truth is what is with them. Let us go to different verse. We will keep jumping. Them, no problem. Chapter two, chapter two, chapter two, verse number one oh one. Read carefully read again. You just said confirm. You just yeah. said confirm. Yes, confirm. Actually, the firm, confirm is not a good translation. So we, more so than confirm, believing, believing. Continue. Here it says, and when they come to them, a messenger from Allah confirming what is with them, not what was. Here translation is false. I'm going to send you a link on our message. Uh, I don't open Hello. links, my friend. You can read. You can read for me. You can tell me what you whatever you want. Oh, okay. Go to, go to a website called corpus.quran. Uh, give me the answer. Give me the answer. Give me the answer. Give me the answer. La, you can see that musaddaq is is coming from confirming. It's confirmation. No problem. So how you can confirm something is a true? It confirms the truthful parts, of course. Okay, hold that. on. So guys, that does the does example. the verse does the verse say is confirming the truthful part only? Who will help? Who will help? Musaddaq It's the truth. Yes, musaddaq limamahum. Okay. So okay. Now, so now it's confirming what is with them. I'll does it I'll say? I'll does it say in the verse, my friend? Does it say in the verse? Any of those verses I gave you, confirming some of what they have with them, or it says confirming yeah, what is with them. Yeah, I'll tell you an example. Al hmm. today, and then Anas, they say, and no, Ibrahim doesn't exist. Kamathal. Hmm. Right. You speak in English. Speak in English. Say, speak in English. You have some people that say that Abraham does not exist. Okay. So. Okay. Right now, the fact that Muhammad وسلم, says this and we believe him, hmm. any Muslim that ends up believing him, by default, we believe anything that came before that he speaks about. Therefore, Abraham is real, despite there not being any historical evidence for him hmm. makes sense okay. so now when it comes to when it comes to the bible the actual bible or the old testament new testament hmm. has a, a truth that it talks about the truthful parts that مثلا, the bible that we as muslims cannot agree to okay because i want to I I ask you i want to make something simple for you sure. is do muhammad have the bible in his time or he don't do, like do he have the old testament in his time so Old Testament, not New Testament. The Old Testament. Sure? I'm talking about the Old Testament. Let us go one by one. Do Muhammad Do Muhammad have the Old Testament, the correct one, in his time? I don't know if it's an. Exactly what do you mean? Don't know. You just said to me about Abraham. So how he's confirmed some of it? If you do not know anything about it, do Muhammad know anything about the Torah? Yeah, he does. Okay, okay. how he knows? We believe he got information from Allah. Okay, if he got the information from Allah, then he got the Torah. Do, you you, do your prophet knows how to read Arabic or no. Hebrew? No. If he I does. give you now, the, if I give you now the Torah and I say I want you to swear on the book of the Torah, are you going to, willing to swear or you swear in the Quran only? Are you talking about the situation where those Jews came to him? And I'm not asking him? about situation. I'm asking you if I give you the Torah and are the you, Quran, which one you are going to swear on, the Torah or the Quran or both? No, I swear on the Quran, of course. Because why? Muslim. Why you don't swear in the Torah? Because I don't. I, because I, I follow the Quran. I don't follow the Torah. But isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it supposedly? Uh, Moses is a Muslim prophet. 
What does Muslim mean? واحد بس أسأل. This is not a question now. Is is the Torah is the book of Allah too, or the book of uh, Shish Kebab? No, we believe it's a divine. Okay, so I'm asking you, why you don't want to why you don't want to swear in the Torah if the Torah is the book of Allah? If there was absolutely no Quran around, no nothing, and there was only the Torah, and I had the New Testament and the Old Testament, I would swear on the Old Testament over the New Testament. Okay, why you want to swear in the Old Testament if you do not know even how to read the Old Testament? No, there's translations. They do just fine, and then I let can us say you exist in the time of Muhammad. You don't have translation. How you can swear in a book you never read? In the time of Muhammad, are you willing to swear in the Torah in the Hebrew? Why would I swear on the Hebrew? Why not? I don't understand. This is the only book. This is the only book. The book Allah He sent to them in Hebrew. Allah did not send in English. Allah did not send in Arabic. He sent in Hebrew. So if you are saying that before, if you are, are saying the Torah is the book of Allah, why you don't want to swear in the book which Allah gave them, which is in Hebrew? I'm trying, I'm trying to understand your question. Is it before Islam? Doesn't matter. Doesn't Islam? matter. Let us say. Let does, does us say does after matter. Islam. Let us say after Islam. Muhammad is there, and they give you the Torah, and they say to you, swear in the Torah. Are you willing to swear in the Torah in Hebrew? The Prophet told me to do it. I'll do it. This is not a question. If the Prophet told me to do it, I'll do it. If he they are, won't let do us it, say, you, let us say you were there after ten years of Muhammad died. Are you going to do it or not? No. Why not? Because by then the Quran has been compiled. I would, I swear on the Quran. So you are saying to me, Muhammad, before he have the Quran complete, he have to believe in the Torah. No. Okay, so if the Quran is not compiled together, you will swear in the Torah. That's mean the Torah is a correct book. If the Prophet tells me to do it, I'll do it. If this is not a question. This is not a question. You see, you are escaping the, you know, trying to skip. I, I'm do not, you swear I'm by the to Torah? Is decision. the Torah, to make is decision. the Torah, is the Torah and a, a good book for you to swear in? Yes or no? Over the New Testament, yes. This is over not a question. Quran, I don't talk about over, over the New Quran. Testament. I'm asking you about the Torah. Is the Torah a good book for you to swear on? Yeah, probably. Probably. If I had to choose, if I had to choose life or death, yes, I'd swear on it. Okay. Because well, the Old Testament, the, the book of Moses says that God has a spirit and God, he came to Abraham as a man. What do you would do with that? Do you accept? It's not, it doesn't actually mean a man, man. Even no, it came to him as, they came to him as a man. No, he came, he came to him, he came to him, it's not up to you. He came to him as a man. What, are you going? It's up to Jewish rabbis. Exactly, exactly. It's up to the, okay, no problem. Accord, no, it's, it's not, first of all, my friend, listen. It's not up to the Jewish rabbi, it's not up to the Christian priest. It's up to the book, what it says. Do I agree? Okay. Okay. The book says the book says as a man, but it's an angel, and it's a form and it's a message that he came as a revelation. That's the only. That's how it came. That's how it means. What, James, what, Jacob, what, what do you wrestled, mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? God. What? What? Jacob, do you, hold on. Hold really on, my friend. Hold on. What? 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 So you are saying to me, God, he came as an angel now? No. Okay. Because so let says, me repeat the question again. Did God came to Abraham as a man? And actually, all the one who came to him, they came as men. If you go to Genesis chapter 18, verse number 2, and verse number 1, you can read, it says, And Abraham looked down, he saw three men standing nearby. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. okay. One of them is God. Is that correct? One of them was the angel. They're angels. No, one of oh. them is God. If you go to verse number 10, it says, Then the Lord said, The Lord, the Lord is speaking there, the Lord. Again, since you and I have I didn't open the verse. I can open the verse. I don't care. So according to the Jews and according to the Christian and according to everybody, God, he came to Abraham as a man. It's not up to you. So now I'm asking you, do you accept that God came as a man as what the Bible says in the Old Testament? You say to me, you are willing to swear on the Torah. And this is what the Torah says. What you would do? For starters, to begin with, in my response. What begin with? And this is another question. Are you going to yeah, accept? Are you accept? Are you accepting a book says that God came as a man? 
Jews don't believe that it was. No, God. Jews they believe that, and I'm I'm, I'm no, willing to show you. I'm you, willing to show you that. Is that, that you, I'm willing to show you. So you now, no, it's not up to you. Verse. It's not up to you. It's not up to you. It's not up to you. Secondly, and it's not up to you. No, either, here we go. I will, I will open the Jewish Orthodox Bible. Do you accept that? Yeah. Huh? What's the verse you're talking about again? I'm Give talking about Genesis chapter 18. Read it from the beginning. So I can open for you the Jewish Bible, the Jewish, not the Christian book, not the, the you know, the translation of the, the Jewish books. What you will do then? You will say, I don't accept. Here we go. This is the Jewish, this is the Hebrew Orthodox Jewish Bible. Orthodox Jewish Bible. And Hashem appeared unto him. Do you see the word Hashem? It's confirmed that the Jews, they believe that Hashem, like, like a God, he came to Abraham as a man. So now I'm asking you, if a man, he swear in a book, it says God came as a man, do you accept him to be a good man or he is a stupid man? No, I actually don't. I don't believe that he's, uh, what's it called? It's not up to you with a book in the front of your eyes, my friend. What's wrong with you? He said Hashem. And Hashem, Hashem is, a, is a, a one of the titles they use for God or names. So Hashem appeared into Abraham. It's in the front of you. This is the Jewish language. And this is the Orthodox Jewish book. Where is the source? Can you share the source in the chat? It's in the front of you. The Orthodox Jewish Bible. I'm showing the screen. <laughs> so until you find the source, I'm asking you. Do you accept to take an oath in a book says God came as a man? Yes or no? No, I would not. So but why you so why you so why again, your prophet then again, why so have, why your prophet then understand. you see you got your prophet busted. What? So why no, your prophet then accept to swear in the Torah, the book which says that God came as a man? First of all, he's when he swore, I and mean, I knew it. That's and I asked you this question and you oh, I, I know it and I know you, you know it. it and I know I you know it. You and I got you busted still. So now I'm asking you. You just said I don't accept to swear in a book says God came as a man. So how your prophet did that? How did the how did the hadith go when he said it? He says, Amen fiq or Amen bil that revealed you, right? That's okay, so I believe in thee and the one who sent thee, okay? Exactly. So what's the problem? The problem is, it's believed that God came as a man. <laughs> That's not how they actually see it, though. Today, if you what do you mean how they see it today? Rabbi, what do you mean that they see it? This is the Torah. This is the same Torah. What's the link for your website that you're looking I'm at? I'm using sunnah.com. Not your, oh. Not that one. Sunnah.com. Oh, it's in the front of your the, eyes. I was talking about the orth Orthodox one. Yeah, well, you can you can just type Orthodox Jewish Bible, Genesis 18, and you will see it. And you go, let me post it in the chat. I told you, open YouTube so you can see with me. So now, yeah. God, he came to Abraham as a man. You're a prophet, he swear in the Torah, which says that God is a man, or he came as a man. How your prophet, he took an oath in a book like that. What you just, what by sorry, what you just showed me, what you just showed me was just a just different translation of that verse. You didn't My show friend, me I showed Jewish, you the Jewish. You show I showed you. Jewish I showed you the Jewish. The, the, that's. I showed you the Jewish. Listen, listen. Don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Not a single Jew will not accept because it, uh, you see, the Jews have to go by what the book is saying. Literally, they cannot make it their own. It says Hashem. Alice, can can I can I send you some things by then? Don't I send me things, my friend. Uh, wasting my time. So now you're a prophet. Do your prophet know Hebrew? No. So how he swear in a book? He do not know how it is it is, is inside it. Because he believes in the one that revealed it. Allahu Rabbana. Oh, okay, guys. He believe. But maybe they gave him yellow pages book. How he know that this is the Torah? That they handed to him. 
Why yeah? would they? This, it was a serious matter. Something was going on. What so serious matter? The talk? guy, he do not know Hebrew. He do not know what he's reading. He cannot read no. even a word. So they if I if I, I if I give a book, if I give a book to your prophet about Mickey Mouse and I say to him this is the Torah, how you will know that this is not the Torah? If then that's your call. But these men didn't want that. They came to him for a ruling. They they were sincere and they came to him for a ruling. My friend, for book, this is this is false. First of all, he Why is in their house. He is in their house. You know. He is in his house. He's not. They are not coming to him. He is yeah, in their they house. They invited him. They invited him. Exactly. So now I'm asking you. They gave him a book, and then he took the book. He put it in the top of the cushion, and he swore by it, saying, "I believe in thee and the one who sent thee." How he knew what is in thee, and how he knew that this is the book is sent by thee. So when we say that Allah sent the Torah and the Injil. We believe that we believe in their original. This is not the question. They gave him a physical book. They gave him a. They gave him a physical book, my friend. We are not talking about the word Torah now. We are not talking about the word Torah. We are talking about a book have pages made of papers or leather, and they gave it to him, put it in the front of him, and he put it, he took it physically. He didn't say I believe in the Torah. He's saying about what is in the front of him. He took it, right, he put right. it in the question, showing a lot of respect. And then he said, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. My question to you, Muhammad do not know Arabic. Muhammad do not know Hebrew. So he cannot even read his name. How he can confirm that this is the book of God and how he swear by a book he cannot read. He cannot see what it contained. He cannot see in anything about it. Maybe it's not even a Torah. Maybe it's a shaitanic book. Maybe it's a book about magic. How he can confirm that this is the book of God? How he swear by that? Hey, that's a very big possibility. There's a big possibility that these people came and tricked him and they gave him a completely different book that has said nothing in it. And he said, hey, I believe in thee and believe in the one that sent thee with the full intention that this was the Torah. Okay, so you're a prophet is not inspired by God then because he is swearing by a book without knowing no, what is, is inside is the book. Premise. This is your premise, by the way. This is not the premise. No, the premise no, listen, 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 listen. I will not, I will not, I am not a fool to swear by a book. Maybe this book is written against my Messiah. Why I want to swear by it? A prophet of God, he have to be careful. He have to swear in a book. He knew what it says. He should know very well what it says word by word. Otherwise, taking a book saying, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee is a hypocrisy. Is it the Quran says that the Jews, they believe that Allah have a son, his name is Uzair? In the Torah, it doesn't say that. And it doesn't say in the Quran that they that it does say that. It says it's that the Jews, that. the Jews, they the say, Rabbi. listen, listen, listen. The Jews, they say, Uzair is the son of Allah. How Muhammad in you that in the book they gave him, it doesn't say that Uzair is the son of Allah. Wahi. Huh? said wahi what wahi i said revelation he probably knows from allah told him allah told him allah told him that uzair is a son of allah but there is not a single jew believe in uzair there's nobody's name is uzair who's uzair ezra ezra is not uzair and there's and there's no jews believe in the guy his name is ezra and he's god there might have been some factions once upon a time. We don't well, know that. Well, if this is the case, if this is the case, that's mean the Quran is a false because the Quran says the Jews, which means all the Jews, not some, maybe. Where is this ayah again? Chapter 9, verse number 30. Okay. All right, I found it. So, what's the what's the issue? You said maybe some of the Jews they believe in that. Is all the Jews or some of the Jews? It's probably some. So the Quran is wrong. Why? It didn't say all the Jews. No, it says it says the Jews. It says the Jews. It says, it says the says Jews. The, yes, when you say the Jews, it means the Jews. It doesn't say a sect of the Jews. It doesn't say some of the Jews. It says the Jews. 
The Jews say says... Don't say that Jesus is the son of God. No, no. First of all, Nasara is not a word for the Christian. Muhammad is... We do not know what Nasara mean. Nasara have nothing to do. Nasara, Nasara are not even... Nasara are not even Christians. This is a false... It comes from Nazarenes. What are you talking about? No. Those, the word Nasara coming from the Nazarene, the one who called poor. Poor in their understanding. Secondly... All what? the hold on, all the Christian they believe, as you see in the Quran says, all the Christian they say that the Christ is the Son of God. Do you agree? It didn't say all. It says Where all. It say? says and is the it? Christian. Listen, don't waste my time. It Does it say it and the Christians? Christians? Does it say and the Christians? Yes. Okay. So all. if I say it and say the Muslims, it means all the Muslims. Otherwise, I should say some no. of the Muslims. No. If he's specific, he'll say he'll be specific. So now you are adding the word some. Let me do it for you. He said, guys, let us help this guy. So the Quran, when the Quran says the Jews, he meant the sum of the Jews. Let us add the word some. The Quran is not perfect. Be my witness. We have to add some words. Some of the Jews, not the Jews. This is wrong. Take that. Some. We will type some. Some. Hmm? Some of the Jews. Okay. Now the Quran looked better. Because obviously the Quran is a confusing book, and the one who said that, the Jews, is not God. This is maybe Muhammad. And then, when it says, and the Christian, the Quran is wrong. We need to fix it. So we need to say, some of the Christians. Are we happy now? So you are saying to me that your book is not a book of God. We have to add some of before the Jews, and some of before the Christian to make the Quran look nicer. So just because the word Christians believe, because it's 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 a it's an exact same comparison. Exactly, exact all same people, comparison. All, all the Christian Christians didn't believe. Not, no, there is not a single Christian. There is not a single Christian. Stop fooling yourself. Not a you, single. You, you cannot be called a Christian. Christian. You cannot be called a Christian if you don't believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Stop lying. Secondly, the, the, the Quran, the Quran is against you. you. The Quran is against you. The Quran is not saying some of the Christian, saying the Christians. I didn't say it said some. I never said it said some. No, I'm you said that. You, you said all. you said some. You said you said you said some of the you Jews added, believe in Hosea. Maybe you, you said added. you said you said some of the Jews believe in Hosea. Maybe correct? Did you say that? There was a, there's a possibility that some of them had that kind of understanding. Yes, okay, true. so so now the Quran is wrong then because if some of them. Why Allah? No, okay, gives you, are they okay? The when you say some, you the my friend, you go to 30, when you say you when you say some, when you say some, are they the majority or the minority? Some minority. Exactly. So you cannot judge the majority by the minority. So no, if, if, if if a few of them the, listen, again, listen, you, you just take, you just expose your God. If some yeah, of them yeah. believe, you don't say the Jews believe. You say some of the Jews because they are the major the minority. Then what is the majority believe? So now Allah He made a mistake. If some of the Jews believe, then this verse is wrong. If some of the Christian believe, that means this is wrong because they are the minority, not the majority. No, Samat. He'll give you. He gives you the the point in thirty one. If you go just another ayah mm. after, mm. he'll give you the point. The, the the verse number 31 is more horrible. Read in Arabic and laugh. It says, They took their their monks, their their their, uh, their rabbi and their monks as God instead of Allah and the Messiah. So the verse after it making the Messiah God. Because it says instead, min duni lahi wal masih, and you claim you speak Arabic, read it. Yeah, I'll open it now. <laughs> instead of Allah and the Messiah, they worship who? They are worshiping their rabbi, this is the word rabbi, and their monks in front of you, and you speak Arabic, as gods, Arbaban. Min duni instead Allah and the Messiah. So what they should do? They should worship one God, which is Allah, Aka the Messiah. Messiah is God. So here it's actually a 
What happened to your tongue? Your tongue is gone. Speak in Arabic. Read in Arabic. Let us laugh. Read, read in Arabic and let us laugh. And read in Arabic and translate. I challenge you. I challenge you to read one word by word and translate yourself. Uh -huh. Translate. Translate. So they took, so they took the, they took their rabbis mm -hmm. and their monks uh -huh. as their lords. Uh -huh. min dun Allah. What min dun mean? And they took. Don't don't no, stop stop. What min dun mean? Without. No, instead, right? And then besides, without bedun. Min dun is instead. Instead, okay. Without. Okay. Instead of Allah and the Messiah, correct? No, and they're saying no. It says, "Well, Messiah ibn Maryam." Okay, no, no. The translate. Why you st why you why you why you jump? Why you skip? They took their God, their 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 rabbis and their monks as God. Mindun. What Mindun mean? Instead, not beside. Mindun. Mindun. Allah wal Messiah. Instead of Allah and the Messiah. Wa exactly. And Allah the and the Messiah. Wa yeah, is yeah. half out of. I wanted you to go to the Corpus dot Quran as well, so that you can see, <laughs> you can also see the grammar. My friend, I know what the Muslim they say. I see it here. I see they're trying to fix the problem. They say, oh, the word Messiah is coming after, but they meant they took their monks and their rabbis as God and the Messiah instead of Allah. But the Arabic doesn't say that. However, look well, what happened now. Look what, not, look what what happened. Look what happened. Just to I show said. you, just to show you that your prophet. Listen, that's listen. Let me show you that your prophet is. A, can you name for me one Jew and one Christian? He took his monk or rabbi as God. Kathir. Who? Show me one. There's so many people that pray to saints. What are you talking about? We pray, no. You see, we pray to the saint. We ask the saint to pray for us. Yeah, you pray to the saint, you use it as a... No, we ask the saint God. to pray for us. We ask the saint, we ask the saint, I ask my brothers God. here, I ask my brother here to pray for me. Doesn't mean they are God, they are praying to God. So I'm asking you now, name for me, one a Christian, one Jew, he prayed to his rabbi as God. Because the word in the front of us says, as Lord, as God. Yeah, they take them as Lord. We don't. Rob. That's a lie. Okay. Let us see. The one who pray, the one who pray to a man is praying to God, right? So why the Quran says, Allah who wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Allah and his angels, they are move? praying. Why did we move? Why did we move from this? Talk? We are talking about, you are the one who mentioned to me to go verse number 31. You forgot? Yeah, but why did you move from that? Now you want we to are not. That we are not. Because you are trying to explain to me. You are the one who says to me, well, there's many Christians, they pray, and they pray to the saint, and they believe they are God. That is a false. But in fact is, it is you Muslims and Allah who pray to Muhammad. Am I lying? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Say that again. Isn't it My the Quran fault? says, Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Yeah, okay. Okay. Allah and his angels, they pray on, on the Prophet, correct? Pray? Yeah. You saloon, what you saloon mean? Saloon comes from like salutations. Now you do not know what you saloon mean, guys. Now you saloon do not you do not know what saloon. You saloon mean they pray. No. So what the word salam yeah, mean? What the word salam what the word salam mean? What the word salam mean? What the word salam mean? Salah means comes from sila to connect, to make a connection. Okay, what the word salah mean? Mean a prayer, correct? No, it means to make a connection. Okay, so, so we, do, we uh, do it in the form of. Worship. Okay, okay, I want you to explain to me the guys. It make connection. So now, if I show you the same word, the word you salli in the Quran, is it making connection or praying to Allah? You know, I'm actually writing notes to this conversation because I'm going to send My you a friend, bunch of It's recorded. It's birthday. recorded. You can download it later. You can put it in your page. Listen, yeah. the word you salli, you salli, you salli. Does it mean pray or not? In Allah, malaikati salloom ala nabi. This is not salah, salah, yani salah that we're talking about. This is not what, the What salah mean? What the word salah mean? I told you it means connection. It comes from sila, which uh, is okay. Which is so guys, so now Allah and the angels they are trying to make connection with the prophet. Solve this problem for me now. How oh, Allah and the angels they are trying to make connection with the prophet. 
انت يو سبيك عربي صح؟ سو انت لحالك ماي فريند اي سبيك عربي بس يو بروفيت ليسن ليسن كيرفولي اي ونت يو تو كونتينيو وات يو سيد يو جاست سيد يو جاست سيد ذات الله اند ذا انجلز ذي ار تراين تو ميك كونكشن وذ ذا بروفيت سو الله الله از ا مان يو اسك مي وات صلاه از اوكي ليت اس جو باك تو زيرو فورجيت اباوت وات كم فروم وير فورجيت اباوت هو كيم فروم وير تيل مي وات ذا وورد يصلون ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي What Allah is doing when He says you salute? Go ahead. The salutations or blessings or salutation, yeah. blessing. So okay, I will go with not you now. So listen, is your salutation. prophet going to go to heaven or not? Is your prophet going to go to heaven guaranteed or not? Yeah, we believe so. So what? What? What the blessing for if the guy is in heaven? Why would? Why does God send uh, salutations to the prophet? Is that the guy is in heaven. I mean, there's there is more than heaven. So now, what is the blessing Muhammad will receive additional to that? What that would do exactly? It has nothing to do with him. It's what do you his, nothing his, to do with him? His, it says, his, his it says, Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Allah and his angels praying on the Prophet. So what do you mean? That, it doesn't say it doesn't mean anything to him. Yeah, Ibn, Ibn Adam. One second. Hmm. Here now, we have in the Quran. We also have in the Quran where Allah tells Muhammad that he will raise his status. And now him being when Allah also says you salute. Okay, him. raise his status. Let us go there. Inna rafana laka dhikraka. Yeah. Is it dhikraka or dhakaraka? Inna rafana laka dhikrak. Oh, dhakaraka. How? Fine. Either way, it could work. Either way, could either work. way can work. But isn't it dhakaraka mean? No. What do you mean? No, it's the remembrance. Remembrance? Dikir. What remembrance? Dikir. It comes from the word dhikr. Dhikr means to constantly remind you, remember. It comes from remembering. Okay, let me ask so, you. So we, we let me, let me ask you. Is it true? Is it true that your prophet he used to suffer from, suffer from his penis? So why why are you so obsessed with stuff like? That? Is it your, your prophet, prophet who said, up, "I was the most weak person between all mankind," and then what? Allah He sent him a dish of shish kebab. He ate it. He got the power of forty men. So this is what the verse is saying. Allah He make what? His great. Prove me wrong. Say that again. And you, you scream, so I can't really hear you properly. Can you say that one more time? Okay, we cannot talk at the same time. Thank you very much. When you say it to me, you mention to me this verse. It says here. We remove okay. remove your burden, which is breaking your back. Is that correct? What 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 verse are we talking? The about? verse you mentioned to me. It's you who mentioned to me. This is the chapter of the Sharh, chapter ninety four, chapter ninety four, chapter ninety four, verse number one, two, three, four, five, etc. So here is speaking about Muhammad have a problem, and this problem is breaking his back. So where's the breaking your back? Yeah, what is breaking the back of Muhammad? Uh -huh. And he had a, his weight was heavy on him and he lifted the weight. Okay, according to Islam, is it the Quran says, mean that the sperm of the man is coming from his backbone and the ribs of the women? What? Isn't it the Quran so says you, that Allah, I'm, I'm just showing you what what is the weight is in, on his back. So Muhammad, he think that because he cannot have sex, he have a problem in his back, the backbone. This is what you, this is how you interpret it. I am Muhammad not the one who interpreted it. Okay, listen, listen, there's other verse in the Quran that says the following. Can you give me the reference, please? Would sure. You find it. Chapter one thirteen, 
verse number, you can read, it's just a few verses anyway, you can read it all. Okay, what about it? Isn't it, this, is, isn't it this is chapter 2 is about the peace of Muhammad? Excuse me? Isn't it this is chapter, all of it is about the peace of Muhammad? 113? Yeah. Azubillah, how, how are you uh, okay. coming to that conclusion? It says here that Muhammad praying to Allah, somebody he did mischievement, right? And somebody he did, you know, he, he blow in the knots. He blow in the knot. Do you agree? What? What are you talking? He blow in the knot. He blow in the knot. In Sharri Nafathati fil Do you not know? You don't understand? This is what sorcerers do. Okay. So what the sorcerer did to Muhammad, his doesn't work no more. What? So the ayah of the surah. Let's let's read it together. Qul a'udhu bi Rabbil Falak. Uh huh. Let's say I seek refuge by the Lord of the dawn, mm. right? Uh -huh. uh -huh. From the evil, like I seek refuge from the evils of what he created, okay. stuff like a lion or I don't know, natural disaster. No, this is talking about are, this is the, talking about witchcraft. Talking about? What? Talking what, about what, witchcraft. Let me, can we, can you? No, this part here, min shadri ma khalaq, this part okay. specifically is talking about al shar al hajat al khalaqa Allah. Al hajat tijmi minna shar, but it's not, it's just part of nature, like a lion. Read the verse number four, you will see it is about what? The giga, the giga. And then the next ayah, the next ayah, wa min shadri, wa min shadri ghasifin idha waqab. Right, so evil, the harm in the night. So what happens at night? Usually, evil comes at night. Robbers, thieves, kids. Mm, so mm. we're we're seeking refuge from. So those what witchcraft have to do with thieves? This is witchcraft. And then woman shabri. Don't 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 tell me the I'm wait, asking wait, you. Don't wait, tell me a second. Wait. Listen. What witchcraft have to do with thieves? Now, this is the third kind of protection we're asking. No, for no. This, this is talking specifically the about witchcraft. This is talking yeah, specifically about somebody blowing in the knot. Doing witchcraft, there's no yeah, thief, so don't add yeah. things. Now I'm asking you. No one's adding anything. You're the one that's adding. So you are saying thieves. You are the one saying the thieves. Illa, because this what happens in the night. What? No, oh, it says like witchcraft. Do the do the thief use witchcraft to steal your, your property? It says what what the word what means and. It no, means no. no. Okay, okay, listen, 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 listen. listen. Oh, okay. So it's also a new what. So, okay. wah, wah, wah. Listen, listen, wah, listen. The first, uh, my friend. Do you do you do you accept Muslim interpretation for the verse? We talk Arabic. Why do we want to go look at interpretation? Why not? Why not? Because because you you will say to me, uh, it doesn't say that. You know why I want to waste your time and my time? No, it's you're not even listening to what I'm saying to begin uh, with. No, I'm listening. I'm, I'm listening. I'm listening. So I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Uh, why want to waste our time? Shall we go and see the interpretation no. for the verse? You and I speak Arabic. Why do you want to look at interpretation? So you don't want to see the interpretation because the interpretation is saying that this is about the. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right here. What does what does the letter wa? My friend, don't tell me a Tell the Muslims, your scholars. The scholars they say that my, this is the people. You're not my brother and Adam. You're my brother and Adam. My friend, I'm not asking about you saying your brother. This is not my, my question. I'm saying to me, I'm saying to you, mm -hmm. if your scholars they say it's about, then it's about it's what we would do. And what do you mean that's not your business? What do you mean not your business? Those are your scholars. <laughs> Listen, man. I don't know what to call you. That's why I keep. My saying friend, that, what, is, what, is what is, is that? Your but, scholar saying this is about the of the prophet? Yes or no? The scholar. It's, that's his interpretation. His mid Thank you very mind. much. So now we agree that the scholars agree that you're a prophet have a problem, and he claimed that somebody he used witchcraft over his which scholar. Which scholars? Which scholars? Ibn Abbas. He says so. I can show you tons of them. 
Exa as an example, you know, go to Tafsir al Bayan, Bayan al Saada, go to Tafsir, listen, Kalamu al Arab, Waqaf fi Kalamu al Arab, Kala ibn Abbas, fi Kitabi Nakash al Ghasik, who either Waqaf, Dakar or Rajul. And ibn Abbas fi Kauli Hitala, Mishari Ghasik, me either Waqaf, Kala who walk Yamu Dakar. وقد أسنده بعض الرواة إلى رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال في تفسيري الذكر إذا دخل تترانسليت سو عن ابن عباس he said when Allah he says من شر غاسق إذا وقب قال it is the people getting harder and getting standing up and that is base أسنده بعض الرواة إلى رسول الله and this is reported some from the some narrator from the prophet of Allah give me a reference no you're showing me what other people thought. It doesn't matter. Yes, exactly. Are. So why you Muslim? You say what? why you why you Muslim? You want why you Muslim will say that this is about the Prophet when it's not about the Prophet? Let me let, let me make the question simple. Is it is it true? Is it is it true? Let, let's let's solve the problem. Is it true that your Prophet? Is it true? Is it true that your Prophet doesn't work? Which, which Darrani, man? I don't. I never even thought. Okay, about it was the Rani? Which the I will show you which the Rani. Here we go. That's your prophet. This is your prophet wife. Who knows better? The prophet wife. She is reporting that the prophet he cannot even have sex. He imagined himself having sex, but in fact he did not. And this is because of the witchcraft. So Muhammad he claimed that the reason he cannot have sex because somebody he did use the knots and he control him and he's not working no more. Read this hadith. It's daif. Go ahead. Look what, look what Aisha she said. Look, so again, you're just showing, and I'm, we're trying to talk Quran, and you go and you're showing what people said. What do you mean what people? This is Aisha. Who, who knows better what happened to your, their prophet? How do, you know, how, do you, how do you know she said these words? How do you know she said anything? How do you know that the Quran is said by anyone? You were not there anyway, too. So I have what I have in my hand today. But you have nothing in your you. hand. You have the hadith too in your hand. Is it, this is the hadith reported from the, the time hadith, of Muhammad? Hadith doesn't bring hadith doesn't bring me barakah. I'm not bound by hadith. No, I'm you are bound, bound because I just I'm showed you the Quran. I showed you the Quran. Okay, let me ask I'm you. Bound. Do you believe that your prophet was bewitched? Yes or no? Yeah, I heard there was a Okay, thank you. Like you just said you heard. So how you say you be heard? Do you heard that? Did you hear that from the Quran or from the hadith? No, from hadith. But you just said you believe in it. I said I believe in what? Do you believe that your prophet was bewitched? Yeah. Okay. You just say it then. You believe in the hadith. I never said I don't disbelieve in hadith. Okay. I just the hadith said, in front I of you, the bound. hadith in the front of I'm you, it says bound. you're a prophet. You're a prophet. He don't have sex with his wives no more. He have a problem. He imagined himself having Christian. sex. In fact, he did okay. not. What, what's this hadith that you have up right now? You have a hadith up. Can you this is hadith. The, the it says, the prophet continued for such and such a period, imagining that he had sexual intercourse with his wives. In fact, he did not. Yeah, can you please give me the reference? So, so, if you don't mind. Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 6063. Bukhari, 60. Bukhari, 60, what? 63. So what do you think? Yeah, I'm reading it. So I'm almost done. Okay, so how does this have to do with the ayah we were talking about? Listen carefully. Listen carefully. The ayah speak, speaking about Muhammad suffering from witchcraft. It doesn't say anything about Muhammad. It says about Muhammad. You see, we, we mentioned two chapters. You are the one who mentioned them to me. You forgot the chapter of Ash-Sharah, chapter 94. It says there's weight at your back. The back of Muhammad is not functioning. And you said, you agree. It can be the Karaka. It can be the Karaka. It's the same. But the problem here is obviously there's a, there's a problem. You know, there's a hardship. He's suffering from something. What he's suffering from? from? 
We go to the other verse. The other verse says that Muhammad, he was in the witchcraft and a Jewish guy, he controlled him by magic. Is that correct? But that, this ayah, have nothing to do with this, him being inspired by. Listen, let, okay, let us, let us, let us take it in a simple way. for us Muslims. No problem. No, 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 my friend, my friend. Okay, okay. <laughs> the hadith I showed you, do you agree with it or not? Yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, it could possibly happen. True. Okay. So now, so me and you agree now that Muhammad is in the witchcraft and he have a problem with this. Do we agree? And here in the, let's, so do you mind, let's just read it. Let me read it in Arabic. Yeah. <laughs> I read it in English. All this time to read this? I can read it in two seconds. No, I have to, I have to open it again, sorry. Just found it now. It says that the Prophet, he imagined himself having sexual intercourse with his wife. In fact, he did not. It doesn't, it doesn't see, in Arabic, it doesn't actually say sex. Like having no, sex, it says that. Just, yes, yati ahlahu. It means he cannot have sex. Yati ata ahlahu. Mean he could not have sex. He says here, my friend, my friend. Listen, don't waste my time. You see, the second I notice that the person is being a kid, I will, don't force me to hang up on you, please. Even the Muslim translation saying he could not. Okay, listen, listen. Why the Muslim they will say sexual intercourse if it's not sexual intercourse? Why you Muslim in the translation? Why you Muslim in the translation say so? That, that's their problem. That's the, okay, my friend, my friend, anything I show you, it's their problem. Get lost. And they said to you, you hang up on people. Mari ikut Yesus. Mari ke jalan yang benar. Tuhan berkati.